Titans. Excellent. Set phases to explode. Red Log, come in. Have you located the Imperial Destroyer? Roger that, Commander. The ship is in my sights. Excellent. Move in. Commander, what is the proposed plan of action? Our scanners have detected that the energy core of the ship is located in the back hull. You need to destroy it before the energy beams fire up. Copy that. I'm headed towards the hull now. Maintain a safe distance, otherwise their sensors will detect your ship. Roger that. Guess me, uh... Good, good. Only a little longer until we're close enough range. I've secured a safe firing distance. You need to use your guided missiles. Firing guided missiles now. This will teach you to mess with our planet, you alien scum. Wipe this pathetic planet off the map. Your shot was too high, Red Log. You have to shoot lower. Firing second shot. Come on, we're almost out of time. Let this be the shot. Hello, recruits. Log dots up here. Are you ready to destroy the... Come on. Hey, I spent like six hours on that freaking intro. <laughs> Tell me you liked it, please. Please leave a like if you did. Welcome back, guys, to another Redstone video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can make guided missiles in Minecraft. Now, this is... Oops. <laughs> well, I guess it wasn't that good. Anyways, this is guided missiles, and this is by X Octax. And what it is letting you do is shoot off arrows that will let you fire a prime TNT through the sky that you can control. That's right, I'm moving up, down, left, right, all these different things, and it is being controlled live via my arrow keys. So if you guys want to see more Redstone videos like this, and of course, if you like that intro, please leave a like on the video. Let's see if we can get 900 likes for this Redstone video. All right, so this is the command you need to make sure you put in. It is a dummy command that was going to, oops, see, it's already, I already put it in, so that's why. So it won't say that when you put it in, but it's basically detecting uh, your entity's fire dummy command. In fact, I will show you again real quick, hold on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put in this command so you can see exactly what's going on here. Set display objective in slot sidebar to bow detect. So what's gonna happen here is when I fire this arrow off, you'll see very briefly, you saw it pop up just a second ago, a little dummy command and it raises every time this fires in the air. Now that you've got the commands uh, placed in or the scoreboards, uh, I'm gonna explain a little bit about what's going on here. Uh, of course, you've got the uh, redstone command block that is powering everything. Don't press that one, that might mess this up actually. This one is what is causing all the magic to happen, but uh, in layman's terms, I'm gonna just simplify what's going on here. These command blocks are testing to make sure you've got a missile launcher in your hotbar at any time. It's gotta be named missile launcher. If it's not, it's not gonna work. It's gonna detect as a normal bow. The moment it detects as a normal bow and you fired an entity from missile launcher, what's going on is this TNT is actually, I think, riding on top of a chicken that is constantly being teleported. The chicken's name is Missile Launcher. And what's going on from there is you are using your spectator mode, which again is new to the Minecraft 1.8 uh, version snapshot. In fact, I'm gonna see if I can, game mode three. So now I'm in spectator mode. I'm just an invisible skull, not hurting anybody. It's no one's problem, really. And uh, let me go back to game mode one. See, when, when I fire this sucker off, let's hit, try and hit another one of these targets. All right, so when you fire this off, you can see I'm just a skull behind, and that is the spectator mode in action, um, <laughs> teleporting me behind this missile chicken that is firing. And then from there, the TNT, their other command blocks are determining what direction you're facing. So if you wanna face this way, you'll, it'll know that you're facing that way and it'll fire off the TNT. As you can see, you wanna turn this direction instead. All those command blocks are just kind of detecting. And you can kind of see when I fire off temporarily, once you've put in that objective, you can look, just look to the right real brief. You see, you see the bow detect, it was there for just half a second. That is what's determining uh, for the command blocks to summon missile chicken. But uh, that is what the command blocks are doing. It is determining what direction you wanna fire. It's determining if the chicken wants to do that. Now, if you don't hit anything, you'll notice that uh, despite not hitting anything, the missile is not gonna go forever. It's got a timer. And once it hits that timer, it's gonna explode on its own, like you saw. However, if you hit something before the timer goes off, it will explode then, and the redstone will itself turn off the timer so you don't have a double explosion. Now you may notice I just picked up a little bit of speed. The other cool thing about it, I literally think I just broke? Did, I, did somebody break? 
<laughs> I think somebody's freaking out. But anyways, you can actually kind of control the speed at which this goes as well. So you can press the arrows. I'm going to hold back. So you can kind of hold back so it goes a little bit slower. You can speed up by holding forward. You can move left, right. You can go up and down with your commands just like anything else. And the coolest part is, let me see if I can get this last guy over here. You can even sprint, technically. So you'll, you'll see it kick in in a second. So. No movement, pressing forward, and now sprinting. You see, I kind of sped up super fast, and just like that, you can fire off these missiles. The coolest thing about it is, of course, it's in vanilla, so you can import this schematic into any world you want, maybe use it to make some awesome mini games, things like that. In fact, I want to know, do you guys want me to maybe make some uh, cool mini games using this schematic? Uh, I could think of endless uses for heat seeking, not even heat seeking, but guided missiles. In fact, I think I saw a pig over there. I'm gonna try to take him out right now. Come on, where are you, you porker? Yeah, come on now. Uh, got him. <laughs> he had no chance. I guess no one really does against missiles. But anyways, guys, that was this redstone video. Pretty, uh, I don't wanna say simple, but uh, there's a lot going on here, but what I wanted to show you was simple enough. Guided missiles in vanilla Minecraft. Make sure you check out Oxtac. His link is in the description below, as well as the download. And again, if you want to see more Redstone videos, please leave a rating. Let's see if we can get at least 900 likes on this one, guys. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed, and we will catch you next time. Thanks again.